welcome to my channel and welcome to another one of my baking sessions and tonight we're going to be baking jamaican cornmeal pudding yes jamaican cornmeal pudding and what you're looking at is my table with all the ingredients that we're going to be working with tonight so that's what we're working with We have almond essence, vanilla essence, grease coconut milk. I have some raisins. I have my nutmeg. I have some cherries. I have cinnamon powder. I have a cup of brown sugar, two cups of cornmeal. I have three quarter cups of shredded coconut. I have a cup of granulated sugar and yes I have my grease baking thing and here I have gone ahead and I incorporated all my liquid ingredients here I have my coconut milk I have my whole milk I have my vanilla extract my almond essence and over here is all my dry ingredients I've gone ahead and I've in incorporated all my dry ingredients. I have two and a half cups of cornmeal. I have one cup of flour. I have a tablespoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of nutmeg. And here I have my melted butter. I have my spatula and my mixing spoon. So this is what we're working with tonight. That's all the ingredients for our Jamaican cornmeal pudding. Okay, so after I incorporated all my ingredients, I will show you what my pudding mixture looks like before I put it in the oven. So just bear with me and I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and I've incorporated all my ingredients. So I'm about to pour my mixture into my grease baking tin. So this is what my pudding mixture looks like. And you don't want it too thick. You have to bear in mind that the cornmeal thickens while it cooks. So you don't want it too thick. So that's what my mixture looks like. See, it's not too thick and it's not too thin either. And I've gone ahead and I've saved some of my coconut milk mixture for my toppings. Remember, you need to save the mixture for your toppings. So you have a nice custard topping. So I'm going to pour into my grease baking tin and I'm going to be baking it for an hour. And then I'm going to check and if it's ready, then I'll add my toppings. So you need to make sure the cornmeal is thoroughly cooked, okay? I will show you my finished product in a minute, okay? So my cornmeal pudding is ready for the oven. Okay, so we're going to be baking for an hour and we're going to be checking as we go. For my cornmeal pudding, I am using Grace Cornmeal. When I'm using Grace Cornmeal, it is so refined and it's easy to work with. So it will give the base of the pudding a more refined tasting, if you understand what I mean. So I'm using Grace Cornmeal Pudding. Okay, so our pudding is in the oven and it's baking and we are anticipating the final result. So I'll keep you guys posted on my Grace, oh sorry, on our Grace Cornmeal Pudding, Jamaican Cornmeal Pudding.
here you go guys my cornmeal pudding is all done and that's what it looks like i just took it from the oven it's still hot so i can't cut it at the moment so i'll wait for it to cool and then i will slice and taste look at that and my custard i promised the custard on the top and i have my custard on the top oh my god it's all done i can't wait to dig in mm. my cornmeal pudding is yum delicious so that's my finished jamaican cornmeal pudding keep safe and stay blessed Hey guys, I'm about to slice and taste my cornmeal pudding. Who's ready for dessert? Okay, here goes. It's soft. It's moist. See, that's my Jamaican cornmeal pudding. Yes, I have raisins and I have cherries, and my pudding is yummy delicious. It is yummy.